Hello everybody. Um, you guys are welcome back to my class today. Um, a quick one. Let me show you guys how to cut a simple uh, standing sleeve. Um, in this case, just as if you're cutting your normal basic sleeve. The width you can use, um, you can use 12 inches or probably 13. So this length now is 12. I'm using 12. That is the sleeve length. So the width here, the width here is 12 inches, then the length is also 12. I have 12 inches here. Then I have 12 inches here. So this width, the 12 inches is not constant, but this is moderate. So covering the arm O part, you can use three. In this case, you can use three. In this type of sleeve that I want to cut, that I want to show you guys, you can use three. You know, normally I usually see five inches. You can decide to use three inches then better still you can even still use either four or that same five inches at the end of everything is still going to give you uh still going to give you what you want you can still use four probably or even five so don't get confused If you are trying to have a um, double mind about the three inches, just use your five or four inches and rest. So mind you, this this stuff, this fabric I'm cutting is two. I'm cutting two, so one is going to serve as the lining for me. So your own must necessarily be two like this. You can decide to just uh, use lining, but I'm using that same fabric uh, to turn it. So this is this is the peplum stay. I also call it color uh color gum so i'm going to leave out just half inch here for the swing you gum it you make sure you gum it very well so i've, I've already gum it and i trim it out i've already gum in and i've trimmed it out you can see the uh the sleeve is forming already you can use the thicker version of that color stay or the softer one whichever one but the thicker one will do more justice, I think. So you are going to sew through like this. You are not sewing exactly on that uh, interface, just immediately after the interface. So after when you join, it's going to turn like this. Then you tag it down round. So this is it. I've already turned it. Just like I said, this other one is serving as a lining. You can use your lining. So this is it. So after sewing, you can even top stitch. And top stitch so then after that you are just going to sew it down like this then you just join with half inch just join it with a uh, half inch so I've already done that the slip is very very simple I've already done that so this is it so this upper part definitely is going to have um it's going to have pleating at this upper part it's going to have pleating like so if you like you can do the pleating even before you fix on the armhole you can see the way it's forming already you can decide to just do the pleating and sew it that is before or uh, before attaching it to the armhole you can see how beautiful it is and it's standing very well so it's just as simple as that but if you think you can pleat it, you can do the gathers at the upper parts on the dress or, or the to or top, whatever you are, uh, you are making. You can decide to just do it that way. So it's as simple as that. Thank you guys for watching. Please don't forget to share and subscribe.